Well, clearly, dealing with all that lead paint is going to be a real challenge. And another challenge, another problem area in an old house is figuring out how to provide the best sort of heating and ventilating systems. And for that, we'll turn to Richard Trithui. Hi, Bob. Hi, Richard. I hope you don't mind. We removed all the old cast iron radiators and we tossed them into the dumpster. Not one bit. Were they heavy? They were heavy, yeah. yeah. Thanks for doing that for us. Yeah, now we've got to put new heat in here, I guess. Well, sure. What do you recommend? The most common solution, and the one that first came to mind here, was to put in copper-style baseboard. You mean forced hot water? Right, with water in it circulating around the perimeter of yeah. the house. It's a beautiful, comfortable heat and a very common solution. Mm -hmm. There is a drawback that was picked up by the homeowners. You're building and that Cynthia. Is to cover this baseboard molding, was, was they wanted to leave that exposed. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like the idea that they couldn't put furniture up against the baseboard. There, there are valid objections yeah. to yeah. using that kind of I, a heating system. I don't disagree with it. Really. But what are the alternatives? Well, it leads us to uh, forced hot air, meaning forced air type of system where we mm -hmm. would heat and run the hot air through ductwork in the house. Wouldn't that really be a problem to have to rip up these walls and get ducts all the way up to the second floor? It, it presents some problems, but it, this house is excellent for us in that we have a nice high basement yeah. so we can run ductwork to the first floor level through the basement and come up through registers. Yeah. And on the second floor, we have a, an attic space so we can downfeed registers that way. So it really so, blends itself okay. very nicely. Okay, you'd have two different originating points. Yeah. Would that allow us to also air condition the whole house? Air conditioning is a natural byproduct of a uh, hot air system, so hmm. it's excellent. Would that system also be extended into the, the, the new uh, kitchen wing that we're building here? I think this wing presents a whole different set of problems. Well, it should be the easiest part of the house to, to heat. It's all brand new construction. You've looked at the plans. It's a real nice, nice room. Well, it's a beautiful room, but this room, like a lot of kitchens and new rooms like this, has some problems to, cause for heating. Yeah. On this wall, you've got all glass, right, with sliding doors. Well, we've got three glass uh, double doors, yeah. Okay. So there's a certain amount of heat loss, plus there's no room to put any kind of heating registers or anything right in front of it. On this side, you've got all cabinetry. And a similar problem exists where it's hard to get the heating ducts or yeah. baseboard or something yeah. sure. through the cabinets. You also have a cathedral ceiling in this whole space, so that doesn't make it easier for it's you. It's a tough one. Hi, Norm. Hey, Rich. How are you? Good. What do you propose? Well, my first reaction is to run duct work out off the main system and run hot air out here mm -hmm. and heat this space in the main house. Well, are there any problems with doing that? There are. It's difficult to zone a hot air style of system yeah. to get a good comfortable temperature here without yeah. overheating the main house or vice versa. Really? What I'd like to recommend to you guys is radiant floor heating. A, a heating system where the heating is actually in the floor. What do you think, Norm? No, I don't know. No, you're not talking about I've seen all these and heard all these horror stories about the slab type houses with the copper piping that goes through yeah. the slab and it turns out that there was like a few thousand of these built and now they've all been retrofitted because the concrete ate through the copper pipes. Right. I mean, we're not going to do that to our new homeowners here. The answer is yes, but with a major difference. Those systems installed back in the 40s and 50s and all those tract houses had copper piping and they were in contact with concrete and the concrete slowly ate away the copper. The reason I could recommend it to you guys is because of the new generation of plastic piping that's available mm -hmm. that we run that has unlimited life expectancy. But there's no slab here. There's no slab. This style of piping and this style of heating lends itself to many different types of installation. And I've even decided I'm putting in my own house, my own kitchen. Really? I'm five or ten minutes away. If you want to go look at it, I'll be glad to show it to you. Sure. sure Great. Like a good idea. Why don't you bring your toolbox, actually? You could help me finish a couple of the cabinets. Okay. <laughs> A little trade-off. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty nice looking place, Richard. Yeah, we really, really, really love it. It's an 1860s farmhouse. Uh, it's just been great. Are you doing a great deal of remodeling? Well, we just finished up on a kitchen remodel, and uh, it's great to see the cabinets get installed and it shows we're getting there again. Oh, boy. This looks terrific. Yeah, really. There went the savings account. Yeah. Huh? I'll be paying for it for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> But this room is very similar to Cynthia and Bill's in a couple of respects. Mm -hmm. We've got high ceilings, 10-foot sure. ceilings. Sure. Every wall that's available is covered with cabinets. Yeah, so you can't put baseboard heat up against right. the walls, right? And uh, we've got glass on uh, a lot of walls. So yeah. what I did is I, I was so impressed with the radiant style of heating, I put it all underneath the floor where we're walking here. Yeah, you've left, left some off here. Yeah, I left a 4x8 up just to show how, you, how we did it. How did you do it? 
Well, this is the subfloor right here on top of the joist. Yeah. And what we did is we nailed in pre-cut strips of plywood to act as spacers for the system. Uh-huh. So you we, created these, these channels kind of. Yeah, the grooves. Then we laid in these aluminum reflector panels. Yeah. Okay, and that forces the heat up into the room, or helps the heat to go up into the room. Yeah. And then, this is the key to the system, this polyethylene pipe. Mm -hmm. This is the pipe that'll last indefinitely. Yeah. And then it comes in a 400-foot coil, and we stepped it down into these reflectors and laid it out underneath the entire floor. So, so you've got one continuous loop of this uh, pipe carrying warm water throughout all of the all the kitchen. Absolutely. The whole floor is a giant radiator. Yeah. It just comes up from the basement and then returns down? Right. Huh. So for a 16, what is this? 16, 16 by 16, 16 foot room, how much does it cost for an installation like this? The pipe and the reflectors are about 200 $200. That's not know. much at all. Well, but I would seem there would be a little more labor to put all these Without question, carpentry there, labor, right? There is more labor to install it. Uh, there's a certainly a higher skill level. You've got to be sure you don't uh, hit the pipe with a nail. There's what happens if you do hit the pipe with a nail? Well, you don't want to do it, first of all. But if you did do it, uh, they do make a repair coupling that you uh -huh. can access either through the basement or from above and put a repair coupling on it and get out of it. So you just cut out the, the damaged section? Yeah. What's the big advantage of a system like this? The big advantage, without question, is comfort, comfort, comfort. The heat is being introduced into this room where it belongs. Down low, gives nice gentle temperature to rise up and heat the people in the room, uh -huh. not the ceiling of the room. Yeah. Okay. Comfort is the biggest, and then savings is the other, operational mm -hmm. savings. I mean, we can run 100 degree water ah, through here mm -hmm. so and heat this fact. room. Yeah. You know? so, those two make it the, absolutely the heating of choice in a room like this with uh, high ceilings and all the things we talked yeah. about. Well, we ought to really mention it to Bill and Cynthia. I think we should. Want to give us a ride back? Okay. okay.